Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 119, Fundamental Statistics, Section 5.5, Problem 5. This is Section 5.5, Problem Number 5. It says, compute six permutations zero and six combinations zero. So for six permutations zero, start with the permutation formula. It is n permutation r equals n factorial over n minus r in parentheses factorial. So the n is the larger of the two numbers. So for this problem, n is six. The r is the smaller of the two numbers. r is zero. So as you put those in the formula, n factorial on top will be six factorial. And then in parentheses, n minus r, 6 minus 0 factorial. Simplify your parentheses. 6 minus 0 is 6, 6 factorial. So you could actually write it out 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, but you can see you have the same value over itself. So it's going to cancel and reduce down to 1. So if you multiply it out, you, you get 720 over 720, which reduces to 1. So 6 permutation 0 is 1. So if you six, have 6 items to choose from, the number of ways you can choose 0 of them is only 1. You just leave them all behind. So in general, whenever the second number is 0, the answer is 1, whatever the first one is. So n permutation 0 equals 1 for all values of n. So um, 68 permutation 0 equals 1. 247 permutation 0 is 1. When the second number is 0, the answer is always 1, no matter what the first number is. And you'll see the same thing is going to happen with combination. Watch what's going to happen. So write your combination formula. n combination r is n factorial in the numerator over n minus r factorial in the denominator with a times r factorial in front of the parentheses. Again, your larger value is the n. N is 6 for this. The smaller value is the r, which is 0 for this problem. So as you start filling this in, n factorial in numerator is 6 factorial. The r factorial in the denominator is 0 factorial. n minus r is 6 minus 0 factorial. So now, 6 factorial on top is 6 factorial. 0 factorial will stay for a minute. And 6 minus 0 from the parentheses is 6 factorial. Well, at this point, if you remember, by definition, 0 factorial is 1. So you're back to the same thing. When you figure that you have a times 1 in the denominator, it's 6 factorial over 6 factorial, which you can multiply out and get an answer if you want. But I can see right at this point, it'll cancel and reduce to 1. So 6 combination 0 is equal to 1. And like the permutation, there is, um, I call it a shortcut. Whatever the first number is, when the second number is 0, the answer will be 1. n combination 0 equals 1 for all values of n. So say 77 combination 0 will be 1. I don't even have to do the formula.